the overall structure is very three act, isn't mm-hmm. it? So you've got this sort of first part of the film where the the main character Honora, who is a sex worker, who is an exotic dancer, meets this Russian billionaire's son, mm-hmm. and they have this kind of like crazy week together. You know, it's it's sort of like Pretty Woman on steroids, but. True. You know, and, and what's funny is we can talk about this, this idea of how much it is a realist version of that, because some people have said that and I just don't believe it at all, right? Something occurs in which it causes the problem in in there, because they go to Vegas and basically get married, right? I don't think that, you know, that happens early on. Then, obviously, his parents and the the people who work for his parents kind of get wind of this, and he takes flight, and then the second part of the movie is them chasing him or looking for him. Right. I have to admit, I went into this thinking of what I'd read about it. It's mm-hmm. been very well reviewed, sure. and also it won in uh, Cannes. Mm-hmm. And I have to say that I was somewhat underwhelmed. It was entertaining for, for what it was. Mm-hmm. I thought it was well acted. I thought the central character was really good. To be honest, I enjoyed it more when when it got to the second act, and they had this kind of like slapstick, you know, almost inept gangsters yeah i don't think they actually are gangsters but you know sort of and they weren't even really russian mafia but they are they're just the the workers for for this oil billionaire where this guy's got all of his money or this son has, has got all the money kind of trying to find him and, and kind of fucking everything up basically right i didn't really think that there was anything beyond that and i really sort of couldn't understand where the where you know this idea of particularly it's if you think of the history of the palm door mm why this film particularly would have would have won that won that prize and why it's so been so well reviewed what do you make of it Beth? going into the film like you I, it's tough to sort of be at a festival near the end of the festival yeah. run in the year because you do sort of it's got a lot of buzz it wins the palm door you know i even amelia perez was also the jury prize at Cannes, and so you sort of you start to hear these things but you inevitably then show up to the film really expecting a lot from yeah, it yeah, yeah. Um, and of course some of that goes into like I loved the Florida Project the, you know Sean Baker's two movies ago so it you, doesn't have that rawness of Tangerine or the Fro- Florida Project it's definitely moving more towards the mainstream sure and so you you don't it's tough to go into that movie uh, sort of open minded as it were but I agree with you I there's a certain depth that people are talking about within the movie that I just don't see it is sort of a very simple Cinderella, pretty woman type story. Um, and it really wants to have a lot of emotional payoffs that I just, I didn't yeah. gather from. I, I, I felt like even you mentioned the acting is great and I agree with you, but the character development no. is extremely yeah. lacking. Yeah, yeah. By the end of the movie, I think that the narrative, the story wants you to feel something for Mikey Madison, uh, Nora. But I just didn't. No, no, I mean, I, I didn't. There's a final sequence where she just sort of, sort of has a moment where she breaks down crying for a particular reason, and I'm like, I just don't buy this. Yeah, and the, the, that payoff did not work at all at the end. 